Hi guys! As you see, um, this time I'm using the Kintsugi tray mold and I want to make a tray with a lot of gold. That's why I already brushed copper and gold into my mold. These are the metal flakes and I also painted a little bit with the pen. And um, yeah, my camera stopped filming from that point and I need to tell you a little bit about the colors because I mixed them myself and I saw on Instagram a very nice idea from Miss Colorberry and you may want to watch this, just check out her Instagram because um, I mixed in part A resin, some of her pearl white and then I put different amounts of drops of the ocean um, blue pigment paste and I made my own colors and these I poured into uh, my mold and one color I made just in the white so I used her crystal white so I'm really really sorry that this part is now gone but I still thought I still upload the video because I'm really in love with this tray and yeah what can I say? Sometimes the memory of the phone is too full and then it just stops. But you can see that I put all the different colors into the sections to get different shades of blue, teal blue, light blue, turquoise and yeah, the white. And um, now you see me mixing um, my next color. And it's a crystal white, but also before I mixed into my clear some of those iridescent um, flakes and a little bit um, about the uh, Cobra Shift color, um, color shift. And this is from DuPont. For this pour, I used the... Um, Resin from Resin Pro Company, the Art Pro. And yeah, I'm mixing my colors. Um, my mold is the mold from Mold and Shapes. It's the Kintsugi, Kintsugi tray mold. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, it's still early morning that I'm doing my voiceover. And um, yeah, you can see everything in the description box. If you use the promo code PT5, you get 5% discount on your purchase order. And again, I'm really sorry that um, the part where I put the different colors, um, yeah, that my video stopped. But I hope it's still interested for you. So there we go. Now I'm pouring um, along the Kintsugi lines. My clear mix with the um, iridescent flakes and with the Cobra color shift. Yeah, in between I'm stirring it. And I don't know if you see it, I'm using the Forever Cups and for mixing I also use the Forever Sticks from Miss Calabari. So when I'm doing um, bigger pours I'm using these cups because um, this avoids me using paper cups and I'm looking forward once she um, launches smaller cups so I can also use them and I can try to avoid as much as possible paper cups or plastic cups so this is a great thing yeah, this is pouring my um, lines um, of the iridescent um, flakes and the color shift color. And now I'm pouring the white in each of the section where I don't didn't put resin. And it's a crystal white from Miss Calabari. You don't really need a lot. I put only two um, yeah, squeezes of, of this pump bottle in there. 
or two pumps. And the cup was um, not even half full, so I'm trying to achieve some great depths um, with pouring the white because I want to have effects underneath and I hope I will succeed. I don't know if this is happening to you guys also that the video is sometimes just stopping, but I cannot always check it while I'm I'm doing the pause because um, I always have to jump on the on the chair and and have a look. But yeah, when I'm full of resin with my hands, it's it's not so easy, and I hope you forgive me. But I think I explained what I've done and. Um, yeah, I guess it's not so difficult. And I can only recommend you um, trying to also, um, yeah, create your own colors, your own um, different shades of, of a color, because it's really fun. Yeah, I'm torching um, the crystal white and I'm using a little bit more of the clear also because I want to have some movement and nice effects underneath. You need to give the resin always a little bit time till it goes into their patterns or into its patterns, especially um, with those um, pigment pastes. And you will see later. I'm torching it again just to pop some bubbles and to heat up a little bit the um, crystal white. Looks quite cloudy, I think, so far. Yeah. And look at this. This is how um, the white blended and I really like it. Looks quite stormy. So this is now my third layer. And again, I'm using the iridescent um, flakes or iridescent flakes. I hope I pronounce it correctly. And some of the Karat um, Deep Blue because I want to have... Uh, a dark background and I hope you can see on the other side um, yeah the depths this is what I want to try and achieve um, so we will see I love this um, color a lot because um, it has a hint of, of black in there so you have this really really awesome blue dark blue and you can see also um, like 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 a hint of black in there and I really like it. Yeah, stirring this well up. Closing my jar so I'm not spreading all the powder out. <laughs> And now I'm taking some of the flakes. I'm always careful with these. Maybe I should um, in future take a little bit more. But I'm always afraid that it takes over too much. That's, yeah. But I like um, the shimmer of the flakes, especially um, with the dark blue. And again, I'm taking some of the Cobra color shift from the pore. And you can already see it gives a hint of greenish effect. Giving it a good stir. And I like this really. 
also gives more now um, a tealish effect. So it's not just uh, a dark blue and I think it matches perfectly with um, what I've poured so far into the tray. And now I'm just pouring everything what I have in my cup into the center and filling up my mold. Look at this blue. I really adore it. it it's very, very elegant color. And with those effects inside, I really like it. Getting everything out. And now I'm taking my stick and just spread out the resin and fill the sides. It's not much um, I needed because um, the mold is one centimeter deep, I think. I, if, if I'm wrong, mold and shapes, please correct me. <laughs> but I um, filled it up um, almost to the top with my white and there was maybe only uh, a gap of, of um, two millimeters. So yeah, I'm just filling this up. I'm doming it. I'm taking the rest out of my cup. And I really like these um, forever um, items because you can just use them again and again. You just let the resin dry and then you can peel the resin easily off of the cup and also the sticks, giving it a quick torch. But please always be careful when you use the torch because, um, yeah, heat can melt the silicone mold. So please um, make sure you are always moving. It's really a risk always to not um, burn your mold. So far, I've been lucky it didn't happen so far to me. So for me, it's easier to, to pop the bubbles, uh, the bubbles when I'm using the torch. So that's why I'm doing it. Anyway, this is now 24 hours later and unmolding time. And I'm really curious how this turned out. Yeah, there are a few little... Um, Pearls of resin at the side from my drips, but you can easily pick them off. And you see how easy it goes or comes out of the mold. And let's have a look. Wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm really in love. Look at this, look at the depths, look, look at the effects underneath. I really like it. I'm not too happy with um, the Kintsugi, um, how I did the lines, but I can tell you, I um, used the Deco Art pen and I went along the lines again and look at this now. I'm really, really happy with this. So I hope you liked the video, even though it stopped in between. And yeah. I hope to see you for my next video. Take care and have a good day. Bye bye.